Um, this next poem is called Watered Down Red. I, I teach erotic poetry workshops to survivors of sexual assault. Um, I have a little information about it over there. So a lot of the poems that I do um, deal with issues around sexual assault and things. And some of them sound like this. Watered Down Red. I used to think it was just watered down red. I would rather roll you in my purple, boil you in my crimson, than let you creep up into its folds. I used to think she was just watered down red, some thin strip of gauzy femininity. But I saw a sunset once, and it was shocking. Even green came out to greet her, slipping in along the outer rim of secondary cloud. Violet lay beneath, prostrate on a cotton float, and blue, maybe to midnight, awnings above, spreading and protecting her entrance to the departure. I knew her, but I couldn't talk to her yet. Like an ex's present lover you spot at a cocktail party through the fuzzy helm of wine glasses and cheese. You know your meeting is inevitable, but it doesn't make you comfortable, and you wish you weren't so beautiful. Her collarbones weren't a necklace of their own. Her mouth wasn't a strong parting egg. I wish she'd never died within me. I wish she hadn't betrayed me. Soccer and girls' soccer. History and women's history. People, yes, women, no. Rape victim, virgin. Victim, 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 whole dagger. I tried to pretend she was just watered down red for girls and all other things awful, like whining and lace and unwaxed knees, sniveling instead of wailing, riding instead of driving, cleaning instead of fixing. I used to think it was all her fault. But she is the moon's favorite lover after silence. Maybe I just didn't know how to put on a bow tie and pick her flowers.